drawing template. Just uh, select. You can save any drawing that DWG file as a drawing file template. That DWT file or DW that DWG. But you can also open any existing drawing template. Uh, then template file, modify it, and then save it again with a different file name if needed. So, for me, uh, just a reminder, if ever na nagumagamit ka ng AutoCAD na higher version, much better na i-save mo siya sa lower version para naman kung pumunta ka doon sa, sa kahit kanino or sa <laughs> kung magpapaprint ka, if lower version siya at least, pwedeng ma-open. Kapag higher version, hindi mo siya ma-open sa lower version. If you work independently, you can develop your drawing templates files to suit your working preferences, adding settings for additional features as you become familiar with them. To modify an existing drawing template file, click Open, specify drawing template that DWP, just an example, or DWG, in the select file dialog box and choose the template file. So this is very important if your company has already established a set drawing template files. Kung nagtatrabaho ka na, uh, check with your AutoCAD manager before modifying any of them. AutoCAD commands. There are different kinds of automatic commands and command is the heart of the AutoCAD. Nearly every action you perform in AutoCAD is based on the command and you use commands to tell AutoCAD the actions you want it to perform and AutoCAD responds with command prompts. Okay, we have the geometry. This is create basic geometric objects such as lines, circles, and hatch areas. You can create many different types of geometric objects in AutoCAD but you only need to to know a few of them for most to be drawings. Note, if you want to simplify the display while creating geometric objects, just press the F12 to turn off dynamic input. Okay, ito yung mga sinasabi kong geometry. First, if of course, this is the line. The line is the most basic and common object in AutoCAD drawing. So draw a line, click the line tool. Alternate you can type line or just L in the command window and then press enter or the space bar. Just type the L. Notice the prompt in this command window for a point location. So line, then you need to specify first the point. I will share to you the other videos para malaman nyo kung paano siya gagawin mismo sa ito. To specify the starting point for this line, you would type in the coordinate 0, 0. So, very important na punta ka muna sa 0, 0. Just type 0, 0. It is good idea to locate one corner of your model at 0, 0, which is called the origin point. To locate additional points, you could specify additional the x, y coordinate locations in the drawing area. However, more efficient methods for specifying points are available and be presented in the position topic. So after you specify the point, the line command automatically repeats itself and it keeps prompting you for additional points. Just press the enter or the space bar to the end of the sequence. As you can see here in the figure. Okay, another geometry or another command is the circles. Circles, the default option of the circle command requires you to specify the center point and the radius. So alternatively, you can use the circle or just C in the command window just and just click the C, okay? Or choose the an option. If you do, you can specify a center point or you can click a one of the highlighted commands options as shown in below. Okay, yun, nasa baba. This is just an example. So the other circle options are available from the drop down. Center radius, center diameter, two point, three point, tangent, tangent radius, or all tangents, or the three tangents. Okay, another uh, geometry command is the polylines and rectangles. 
A polyline is a connected sequence of line or act segments that is created as a single object. This is the polyline. Okay, just use the P line for the shortcut commands to create open or closed polylines. So for geometry that requires fixed width segments, continuous paths for which you need to know the total length, contour lines for topographic maps and isobatric data, wiring diagrams and traces or printed circuit boards, process and typing diagrams. So, yan yung mga kadalasan uh, kung bakit natin ginagamit yung polylines. Polylines can have a yeah, constant width or they can have different starting and ending widths. After you specify the first point of the polyline, you can uh, use the width option to specify the width of all the subsequently created segments. You can change the width value at any time even as you create new segments, as you can see in the figure. So here is the example of a printed circuit board in which the traces were created with wide polylines. The landing paths were created with the do not command. For the continuation, polylines and rectangles, polylines can create different starting and ending widths for each segment as shown here. So as you can see, ito yung pwede mong starting and ending ng polylines natin. Usually, ginagamit siya sa mga, ng mga electrical engineers. Okay? As fast way to create closed rectangle polylines is to use rectangle or just use the command for the rectangular, just use the commands rectangle or rect in the command window or just simply click here in the ribbon on the toolbar ribbon simply click the di two diagonal points for the rectangle as is illustrated if you use this method turn on read snap f94 position Okay, another command na pwede natin gamitin for the AutoCAD is the hatches and fills. In AutoCAD, a hatch is a single compound object that covers a specified area with a pattern of lines, dots, shapes, and a solid fill color or a gradient fill. When you start the hatch, ito yun, dito makikita itong part na to, the ribbon temporal display the hatch creation tab. On this tab, you can choose from over 70 industry in standard imperial and ISO hatch patterns along with many specialized options. So, dito, parang binibigyan na natin ng buhay yung ating drawing. Okay, the simplest procedure is to choose a hatch pattern and scale from the ribbon and click within any area that is completely enclosed by objects. You must specify the scale for the hatch in order to control its size and spacing. After you create a hatch, you can move ha the bounding objects to adjust the hatch area or you can delete one or more of the bounding objects to create partially bounded hatches. Okay, this is the, the example of hatching, of using hatch. Okay, as you can see, this is a, an autocad drawing. Then, nagdumamit siya ng rock, dumamit siya ng... Uh, na this is for the concrete, okay? Here, ito yung mga different hatches. Okay, here's the fill. If you set a solid or gradient fill hatch pattern, also consider setting a transparency level on the hatch creation tab for interesting overlap effects. Okay, hatch and fills. Ito yung another example. As you can see, solid hatch with a specified transparency. And itong part na ito, diagonal hatch with a background color. This is, itong part na ito, solid hatch. And itong sa gitna naman, or sa inner, is the gradient hatch. Here's a tip. Tip. If you need to align the pattern in a hatch, which might be the case with the decking boards above, uh, I mean, sa side, 
use the set origin option to specify an alignment point. So, ito po yun. Itong part na to. Just click this one. Note, if an area is not completely enclosed, red inches appear to indicate potential stops. Enter red regrow in the command window to dismiss the red circles. Okay. For your activity, matatapos na, tapos na yung ating introduction, it's just it's just an overview of the introductions to AutoCAD. So, may mga ibibigay pa ako sa inyong link and YouTube channel, YouTube uh, videos para mas maunawaan nyo kung paano magsimula sa AutoCAD. For the meantime, this is your activity number one. Post, post on the comment section at least 10 shortcut commands and its full commands. So, Para magawa nyo yan, just open yung AutoCAD kung meron kang AutoCAD. It, then, just um, familiarize with your AutoCAD. Kasi ang AutoCAD hindi lang siya ma... Okay, hindi nyo siya malalaman or hindi nyo siya ma, um, magagamay if you will not use the AutoCAD. Kaya kailangan, you need to experience the AutoCAD for you to know what is really AutoCAD. Hindi siya um, by ito, nakikinig ka lang, hindi mo siya malalaman kung ano talaga yung AutoCAD. Okay, AutoCAD, uh, in, in order for you to understand AutoCAD, you need to experience it. So, this time, um, i-comment mo sa comment section natin, either kung nasa YouTube channel kita na nanonood, uh, i-comment mo sa YouTube channel, kung saan ka man. Or ay, kung nasa Facebook page kita, i-comment mo dyan. Kung nasa Google Classroom ka at nagbasa ka lang, i kailangan mo din i-comment doon sa comment section, sa private comment natin sa Google Classroom. Just post at least 10 shortcut commands and its full command. That's your activity for today. So, Yes, so yun lang guys and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page para mas maging up updated kayo sa mga topics natin sa subject na to. Thank you and God bless you.